Hi guys and welcome back. Well, every once in a while we get the darnest things in here to repair. And today is no exception. What we got is a iPhone 6 here on the bench. And you can see it looks like it was used as a hammer. You can get this case pried off the rest of the way. And when I see one in this shape, I really have to wonder if the internal circuit board is uh, damaged. You can see it's really took a beating. Even a lot of the uh, outer glass is gone here. So we're going to crack this thing open and see what the inside looks like. Start by removing uh, two screws out the bottom. Now this is the strangest thing. Uh, I have several of these Penelope screwdrivers that I ordered off from eBay and they would not fit these two screws in this particular unit although it fit other standard uh, iPhone 6's but uh, they were just wouldn't uh, catch good enough so I guess they were about wore out and this one's probably been into several times so I ordered some new ones off on eBay and they won't be here till the end of the week and I really know he, you know, need to go ahead and get this phone repaired if it's repairable. Now most of the time you would use a suction cup to pull this off, but it's broken up as this is, it doesn't really matter at this chance. You know, it's just already in bad, sad shape. But uh, I went over to Baddies Plus this morning, walked in there, I knew that they repaired iPhones and smartphones and asked him if they had a Penelo driver he went to the back and come out and handed it to me free of charge you can't beat that That's, I mean how's that for service all right now we can lift the old display up it's going to be multiple cables up here in the uh, top here looking at everything uh, I can't see any damage sometimes it's hard to tell use one of my stands here just to hold uh, that up the first thing we want to do is uh, disconnect the battery always make sure the phone is in the off position when you open these up we remove these two little small screws here so we can get to the battery connector take this little bracket off We can come right here and lift up the battery connector. There we go. 
I like this lifted up. So now we can go ahead and uh, remove these screws up here on this shield, sitting up here. Try to keep all the screws separate because they are different sizes. In fact, there's two different sizes on this shield, and I see that it's also one missing right here in this corner. So, look like it's may have been into quite a few times. Okay, now we can see all the connectors here. So all we want to do is just uh, pop each one of them up. See just how bad a shape that one's in. It is really, uh, really messed up. You know, I can see somebody just getting mad and bang, bang, bang. Now, when you take these off, just don't take this and throw it in the trash. Because there is a part that you will need to go onto the new display, and that's this home key we'll have to transfer it to the new display if not some of your touch functions are not going to work there is an IC that's mounted in this and it needs to stay with the original phone now if you sent this off to iPhone to have it replaced no problem they can do what they need to do to get it uh, up and working take this metal plate off there's two little screws here we'll set those aside and these screws are very tiny Actually, I said two screws, but there's actually three. But we can remove this plate. I don't think you had to remove the, uh, the third screw. Now, what we need to do is lift this uh, connector up. And then we can remove this home key. Let's get some light on this thing so I can see it better. It's just ain't as good as they used to be. Now 
And the sponger doesn't want to do it. reach in here and poke the other button out and there we go so right here is a little IC mounted on this ribbon cable or the home button. Then we'll do the same thing to the new one. Take the film here, we've got to move it up out of the way. And there, there's the new one. And we're going to replace it with the old one. Plug back in, stick our little shield back on. You know, I won't want to do a video on this, but a couple of people have asked me to do it. And that, you know, pretty much simple to do. It's just that you got to remember you're working with some tiny stuff here. I'm gonna make sure the button is clicking. You can feel it when you mash it. Okay, now that we have our home button replaced, what we're going to do is uh, bring this back up here. You see you have four ribbon cables here, and they're kind of laid out in order. These two will try to stick together, and just click them back in with the bottom one first. Just hold your uh, new screen vertical so you ain't putting no pressure on anything. Sorry about my hands being in the way, but this is the only way to do it. Okay, all of them are back in, 
and we'll take our shield that has the five screws or supposed to have the five screws in it we'll lay it back here You're working on these, you really need a good set of magnetic drivers. If not, you'll have screws all over the place. Let's see, let me go and get a screw for this up here. This way we replace the missing one, and if anybody else ever goes in here, they won't find missing screws. Okay, now we'll uh, reconnect the battery connector. Put our shield back in place. Come on, just one screw. I get quite a bit of these uh, bungs in from time to time. I'll make sure I had the right screw and not the, the wrong one here. I keep selling the screws in that little container. Okay, battery's connected back up. I see no damage on the board that I can visually see. We'll pop the cover back down before we put the screws in it. We'll power it up and do a test. Always hinges from the top. Little tabs will go under. And we have an Apple logo. And there we are. Swipe it. And the phone's up and running. Um, we'll check the home key. Home key's working. Try out the camera. Camera's working. Front camera's working. Now we know that everything is working on it okay. The last thing you want to do is make sure it powers down. Because I have replaced a few of these screens and it would not power down. 
Uh, we'll hold the power button, slide the power off, and that's it. Back up and going. Uh, and you see they're just quick little repairs, nothing to it. Real simple to do. Again, you know, you're just working with some small stuff. And even with my hands that can't feel nothing, I could even do it. Put the bottom screws back in. And I'll contact the uh, owner and tell him to come get it. And hopefully he'll be happy. So as you can see there's really not a whole lot to uh, change in the display of these things. Go ahead and remove that. back into his original case I've had quite a few people ask me about doing videos on these but I don't find uh, doing videos on phone repair all that exciting especially when it's just a simple little uh, screen replacement like this but you know something that we do here at the radio shop uh, sometimes we do things that we normally don't <laughs> do videos on and you know phones is one of them we've had quite a bit of phones come across the bench phones um, tablets this and that but maybe we'll get some more when we get some more in-depth um, board repairs I'd rather video the board repairs than the uh, screen rep uh, replacements so anyway yeah not too bad you can see it only takes a few minutes to do uh, just remember you know change out the uh, the home button with the original and you'll be good to go anyway we'll catch you in the next video see you now